<laughs> Everyone may please prove that you're real. For me, nothing is more fun than skiing. It is the only thing that I can do besides slightly jogging that is considered athletic. Skiing can be a very social sport just because of the fact that a lot of people will often take trips with family or friends to the mountains and your odds of being invited to go skiing are actually pretty decent since it does seem to be a favorite holiday trip for us. So you might want to learn. I am by no means a professional, but I have been skiing almost twice a year since I was three years old. So I do think I am pretty good. And today I'm going to be showing you guys what I know on snow skiing. Learning as an adult can be a little more difficult than it would be for a child. So I'm going to guide you through the maneuvers and give you guys some tips on starting off, steering, and most importantly, stopping. So once you are on the slopes, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to slightly bend your knees so that your shins are pressing up against your ski boots. Then you're going to want to kind of lean forward a little bit and chances are if you are facing downhill on a slope and gravity is present, then you're going to start sliding down the mountain. That is it for starting off. But one thing that a lot of beginners forget that you do want to keep in mind is that you don't want to be looking down at your skis. Rather, you should be looking downhill and seeing what's in front of you. Kate Krichko, an experienced skier and journalist for Grind TV, says that if you're looking down at your tips, you're probably not looking downhill, and therefore you're not seeing that pack of ski schoolers up ahead or that big drop off to your left. Starting off is the most or is the easiest part of this entire process, but actually learning how to steer around the obstacles that you are hopefully seeing is a little more difficult. So next I'm going to get into steering. So once you've got leaning forward down, you're going to want to place your skis parallel and start to lean in the direction that you want to go. This method is commonly referred to as French frying because of the way the skis look, obviously. But a more popular method with beginners is the pizza method. So to pizza, um, you're going to kind of spread your legs a little bit and then place the tips of your skis inward, creating said pizza shape. And that is going to kind of allow you to control your speed more um, and slow you down. But ultimately, the french fry method is better for making dramatic turns and avoiding hitting objects that could get in your path. Mike Doyle, an award-winning ski journalist, says to turn to the left, slightly drop your right shoulder toward the tip of your right ski, and put more pressure on from your right ski boot onto your right ski, and vice versa. So to put this image into context, you're going to imagine that you are rollerblading, and to turn left, you're going to kind of push off with your right leg and the other way around. Steering is really important and absolutely necessary if you're going to be skiing on any mountain that has trees, cliffs, or other people, which is every single mountain you're going to encounter. So finally, the third step is stopping. And this is the most important thing that you could learn from all this. So stopping is really, really important just in case some obstacle or a person gets in your way, like a small child small child falls, falls in front of you, you obviously don't want to hit the child. Um, and stopping is really similar to steering in that you're going to kind of turn, but it's going to be a really harsh turn. And your Brenda Foley, a skiing enthusiast, says to apply pressure to the inside edges of your skis, and that's going to help you avoid catching an edge. Um, another key thing to take away from that is to put more pressure on the inside leg up the side of the mountain and that's going to help you um, avoid falling over down towards the mountain uh, which would be really embarrassing and painful uh, so you want to avoid that. This whole maneuver is called the hockey stop and it's kind of scary the first few times you try it but if you really aren't comfortable doing that then you can always just pizza down the mountain really hard until you eventually come to a stop. So now you guys have learned how to ski, or at least the basics of it. Um, to review, the first thing that you're going to do is start moving. So you're going to bend your knees, lean forward a little bit. The second thing is steering. So leaning and pushing off with the opposite leg in the direction that you want to go. 
And finally, most importantly, stopping. So really, really harsh turn and um, inside pressure or pressure on the inside edges of your skis, more pressure on the leg that is up the side of the mountain. I know some of you guys may have never seen snow before, but I would highly suggest taking a trip with your family or your friends next winter break and hitting the slopes. Thank you. Any questions? Zoe. Where is your favorite place to go skiing? Park City, Utah. Why? Uh, I've just been skiing there since I was five years old. Maybe. What's the best time of year to go skiing? Um, either winter or spring. I prefer spring. Just because it's a little cooler outside. I mean, warmer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Are you afraid of going on black diamonds or do you prefer the greens? I'm not afraid of black diamonds and I do enjoy going down them. Much more than greens. <laughs> What makes something a black diamond? Um, usually they're, it's pretty steep. There could be moguls on it and um, it's not usually groomed. So, What's your most preferred I or snow to ski on? Um, kind of somewhere in between like regular snow and a little bit icier. Yes. What is a mogul? A mogul is, well, it's usually a series of moguls, so a lot of bumps um, that are pretty large and you have to ski around them. Good. That was the best take from our favorite case in that picture because that's dead spot. I made sure to like ski yeah, a little like bit, but like torn a little bit.